Hey, happy Monday, y'all. Hopefully everybody had a great weekend. It is no time to be slacking. You're gonna need all of this stuff because we got a very productive week ahead of us this week. I'm gonna show you really quick how to make a standing grappling dummy, all right? All of this stuff is really important because what's gonna happen is that, you know, as we get back to uh, the academy and we start to reopen the actual physical location, we've been open, all right? We've been productive, been working our tails off, moving forward progressing, living life on purpose, never quitting. We've been there, all right? But here's the deal, when we reopen the physical location, start being able to work with each other, we're gonna ask you, and probably have workshops and stuff, to bring items with you, uh, or, and show you how to make it, or you can make it before you come, uh, that kind of stuff, because we're gonna have to phase into, just to abide by the mandates of um, the governor, and you know, all that stuff, and safety protocol, and. You know what I'm saying. All right, anyway, we want to make sure that we do this thing right and do it safe, okay? But uh, we'll be doing stuff like this here, and um, we'll try to do everything we can to help you guys out to make this happen. But this is a standing grappling dummy, all right? You need to have, of course, belt. You don't have to wear your own gi when you do this. I wear my own gi when I'm doing these classes just to make it official. But you don't have to wear your own gi when you do this. You can use your gi to make the grappling dummy, okay? You're gonna need the, uh, your belt, you're gonna need two pillows, preferably a bigger pillow and a smaller pillow, if you can have that, all right? You're gonna need a gi, all right? You're gonna need three towels for today because it's a standing grappling dummy, so it's a little bit different. We were able to do it with jeans and two or two towels before for the sleeves. We're gonna do three towels today, uh, big towels, all right? And two sticks or two brooms, all right? I didn't have two brooms, but I had not have a, a broom and I had another, like, uh, I think a Swiffer thingy, Majiggy or something like that. But man, you got shovels laying around the house, you got brooms, you got other things that have poles and all you do is take, I don't know if you know this or not, but you can, uh, you can take whatever it is and most of the time, uh, whether not shovels, you can't do that, but like uh, if you got like brooms or other things that have an extension rod or a painter's rod, something like that, we're just looking for two somewhat evenly sized sticks, okay? Uh, poles, something like that, right? These are close to evenly sized. The broom thing on the top is going to be a deal. Make sure whenever you use your broom, please just make sure you clean it off, you take it outside, shake it, whatever the case might be. You know, just make sure it's clean, okay? Cool. So, what we're gonna do here, first, we're gonna take three towels, lay them out. One, two, and three. Cool, all right? Now all we're gonna do on this here is we're gonna roll it up. When I roll it, I'm going to roll from one end. Just roll it just like we were rolling the jeans the other day. There we go. Just like that there. All right, cool. So we got our towels. Well, now we're going to take our gi top. All right. Take one end of the towel. Stick it in the sleeve. Kind of reach through the sleeve. Grab that towel and pull. You don't have to necessarily put the uh, arm, the hair bands on the end this time because we're not doing like arm bars and stuff. But the hair bands on the end will help to keep everything in place and help you with like working your defenses and things of that nature. Uh, like if somebody defended an arm lock, like we did with uh, Zach and his dad the other day, Professor Jasser, those hair bands just help you to be able to like tie the, the arms together to kind of give that. Um, feel of somebody defending. All right, so just trying to get it even across here, just like that there. There you go. There's the first part of what we're doing, okay? So we have the towel all the way across here inside the arms, okay? But, and just like we've been doing, okay, we're gonna take now our pole and we're gonna put the broom top side in here, okay? Just like this. Off to the side. And take our other pole, put it in 
inside here. You can shove it up inside that towel there to help it to stay uh, still. All right, then we take our short pillow. Remember the open end, we put it right up inside here. Inside the shoulders, stuff it up inside those shoulders, really good, all right? Then we take our bigger pillow, you have it. If you don't have a bigger pillow, all you do is you take the, uh, take the other pillow and you just kind of stick it up to where the, it's hanging out. So it almost looks like a head. So you got a neck to work with, head to work with, and that's important just to have it just like this here, okay? And now, if you want to, you can try, all right? And take the ghee pants, all right? And slide the ghee pants, slide the pull through one side of the ghee pants, just like that there. And then take the pull, other pull, and slide through the other side of the ghee pants. Now these legs, you know, I'm trying to get them as even as possible, and that's what we're looking for, to try to make them as even as possible. If they can't get even, then what you do is you just make adjustments. <laughs> there you go. And it'll even out as you start working with it. So then you take those pants on here, and you shove them inside, shove the pillow inside here. Shove the pillow inside, and you just keep pulling them up. Pulling them up. If you have to roll one of the pillows up, that's fine. And the reason this is important is because we want to try to make sure that we keep this thing together. So the ghee pants are just going to help us with that, okay? So I've got the pillows up inside the ghee pants, and now I get my drawstrings, bring them through. This is going to help to secure everything so it's not moving all over the place and coming undone on you. And then we just, again, like we do it when we tie our pants on our body. <laughs> That's always a trick. Just pull tight and then tie it off. Put a double knot on there just to make sure that it stays. And now, Take this guy here, and we're going to take the belt, just like we do. You can practice tying somebody else's belt for him. Start with the stripes on the right side. All right, right where the belly button is. So this thing's wrapped up here. Bring it around and around. Bring the right side over the left. So that means your left hand. Go through. Make that loop and just tighten the snot out of this thing. Just trying to make it as solid as you can. And then we take that side over the top, bring it through, and tie it off. And we have one homemade. Not the best, but hey, it works. Look, he's standing up all by himself. See this? And now I'm able to work with my homemade grappling dummy. He's able to move around. I'm able to practice. I can come through and work some throws with him. His legs don't bend, so that's one thing. But hey, it does work. I can come around and we can work. That I go. Look at that. See, he stays together. Now you're gonna to have to, of course, adjust him as you go, because it's just that's just, it's not made for this, but it works really well. And of course, as you go, you'll get used to what you have to do to make it really work well for you. Okay? So awesome. Hey, get ready for class. We're gonna have fun this week. Bye.